with me now is the embodiment of that new relationship, uh, Jim Nicholson, who is the candidate, the first joint candidate between these two parties uh, for Europe. Uh, Jim Nicholson, uh, you're very welcome. Uh, you are that embodiment. Uh, Mark characterised it uh, as the crash test dummy for this new partnership. Uh, how do you expect things to go? Not or, the wall? or the guinea pig, you know, either which way you look <laughs> You're at happy it. to take any time. Uh, I'm in politics a long time, and I do know that you take politics a day at a time, and you take it from there. I think this has been a tremendous day for the Ulster Unionist Party. You only have to look at the number of people who are here, the buzz that's going around, to know that we are back. And I think the only people who are worried about What's happening here today as our, will be our political opponents. They're the ones that are worried, not us. I'm so looking forward to that challenge. What's made the difference? I think it is the fact that uh, we have decided we have done a lot of soul searching and thinking. And we did listen to what people were saying. And uh, I think what we are hoping to achieve is that uh, we are going to reach out. Because the one thing I've learned working in Europe is that you have got to work with other people, you have got to understand the problems of others, and if we don't do that, and if we continue to fight within ourselves, the rest of the world will simply pass us by. So we have got to be out there putting the message. And the other th important thing is, that also I've learned from Europe, with the expansion of Europe, we have learned a lot, and we can return a lot to those new areas, and I want to see us going out, reaching out, to other people and to not being insular but being looking to the future and the challenges that that gives us out there. Uh, yes, you're quite right that there's going to be a lot of challenges here. We know that, they know that, but you know, uh, it has to be taken on board and we've got to go out there and try and achieve it. Jim, the uh, European election in June will be the litmus test for this new political force. I mean, if you build your vote or will we hear more of the force and if your vote diminishes, will that be the end of it? We won't be hearing about this new political force again. <laughs> well, look, Mark, uh, <clears throat> why don't you ask me that question about the 8th of June? And uh, then I can... T t be, uh, the voters will decide. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to fight the case and I'm going to explain it because I'm fed up with every time there's an election in this country that the only thing the DUP can claim, you got to vote for us or Sinn Féin top the poll. What I'm saying is no, you don't have to vote for the DUP, you can vote for me and I will top the poll. It's, it's going to be a more packed field than previously on the Union side because of Jim <laughs> Allister's presence. Yep. Uh, but are, are you fearful at all that you might not hold on to your seat? No, I'm not fearful at all because I think uh, our vote is going to increase. I'm prepared to predict that. How much it'll increase is entirely up to the electorate. But I think uh, that will happen. I think what you're going to see is a pretty internecine squabble between the TUV and the DUP. We've already seen the beginnings of that. It will be uh, very rough, tough uh, between them because the truth is the DUP have to take Jim Mollister out or Jim Mollister takes them out. But how, do you say, or. how do you stay out of that, Frey? Is that why you uh, began talks with the TUV about some sort of uh, voting transfer alliance? Well, look, I work with Jim Mollister in Europe. I have a good working relationship with him in Europe. Of course I talked to him. I was talking to him this week. I will be talking to him all being well next week and the week after that. And all Jim Mollister did, and you know, he was big enough to say, you know, that uh, uh, encourage people to transfer on your votes. I will be saying to the people when I go out there on the campaign trail, vote for me number one. Every candidate will be asking that. But then I'll be telling people, vote for all the rest as well. Vote for all the candidates that you prefer on the list as well. But isn't there a tension in the message there, Jim, when you have on the one hand David Cameron talking about the new force may be appealing to SDLP and Alliance voters. And on the other hand, uh, you saying, uh, or Jim Allister saying, transfer to within unionism, and you, and you saying, okay, yeah. Well, look, we're not into the campaign yet. We've got Christmas in between. And there's a lot of work to be done, certainly by the new body set up between the two parties, to see how we go forward. I'm a great believer in uh, jumping the fence when you get there, not before you get there. So I'm not going to speculate what's going to happen in the future. But under PR, I will encourage people to vote for all your preferred candidates on that list. And I think that's what uh, will, will happen. And more and more, you know, the people of Northern Ireland have been voting now for 40 years. They're, they're tired voting. But the one thing they are is they're very sophisticated and they know how to use their vote wisely. And that's what I'd be hoping they'll do. Europe, to some extent, though, is the easy <coughs> bit. Uh, what about Westminster? More problematic. And we haven't even got uh, your sole MP, Lady Sylvia Herman, signed up to this process. 
Well, uh, Lady Sylvia is in mourning at the moment, and uh, that no doubt will be dealt with. And you are making uh, judgments there that I, you know, I don't intend to, count, to even comment on, quite frankly. Because but do you know something don't, that we don't? Because all the indications are that she is against it. Well. That is speculation in the media, you know. But you know, you speculated that we weren't even going to be in the, in the race at the more by-election. But look, we won the seat, you know. So, like, let's not be too led astray by what the media say or what this one says. I'll let Lydia Sylvia will speak for herself, and she will deal with the party, and she will talk to the party. And I have no doubt we will find that there will, she will be with the party in the longer because she would be like me. She will be for what will uh, in the hope in the longer term, which Reg Ampey has said. Is this is for the greater good of all the. People of Northern Ireland in the future. Jim Nicholson, many thanks indeed.